Hello fellow AGD Xers, welcome to another video. It's been a little while since I've done a longer video and I thought it was about time. So uh, today we are going to be looking at adding some uh, one bit music to our intro menu. And uh, this means that it will run on the 48k spectrum, which is the one closest to my heart, maybe to yours, I don't know. But anyway, it's always nice to try and meet the challenges uh, and the restraints of that machine and that's what we're going to be looking at today. So this video comes in response to a query by Alan Stevens asking if we could get music to play uh, while the control menu was running. The control menu on AGD is a little bit bland and it certainly could do with a bit of jazzing up and so uh, that's what I've looked at. And uh, I found that it's quite possible to divert the control menu code and uh, get some uh, music up and running and uh, I'll show you a little demo of this now. It's quite loud, so um, if you want to turn your volume down, now might be a good time. Here it comes, and uh, I'll press go. Okay, so pretty nice sounding effects there from the uh, Spectrum Beeper. And uh, as you saw, I can just press the, uh, one for keyboard control, two for uh, Kempston, three for Sinclair, just as uh, as per usual. Uh, this is just a very simple demo I, I, I made uh, quite a while back and just using it to, to demonstrate the uh, control menu, really. Uh, at any rate, um, let's take a look at the menu itself again. And this time, I think I'll... Uh, turn the volume down so that I can uh, talk to you while we look at it. So as you can see here, there is this kind of logo here. Uh, I've done a video on this in the past about how to add these using blocks. Uh, I have got some other um, code uh, that I'm working on, which will allow you to be a bit more flexible. But this one just uses, I think, about 40 blocks and it lets you have a logo on the menu screen. And uh, there is a video for that. You can check that out. Uh, basically, what we're doing here, though, is we're diverting the code that normally is used to update uh, the ticker, because AGD does allow you to have a ticker, but only if you have a particular specialization selected. So uh, what we're doing is we're diverting that code, and then we are basically inserting our own code, and that's how it, uh, it basically works. So um, obviously, before we do that, before we actually look to implement the code, we're going to have to get some uh, music ready and I'll look at that now. So here we're looking at an excellent package called Bipolar which was written by uh, Chris Cowley and it uses a whole range of different Spectrum engines written by some uh, very well-known uh, Spectrum coders and um, basically this allows you to to build the the one-bit tunes that uh, you might like to put in your game. So I'm not going to go through all of the ins and outs of um, Bipolar today. It's got a, a nice little help menu there and uh, there are lots of, uh, as you see here, lots of different engines you can choose from. Uh, but as I said, I'm not going to go into that today. I'm just going to show you how to take a tune from here and uh, move it over into the AGD menu. So some of these engines will basically allow you to um, run code at the same time as the music. And uh, two of those are the music box and the music studio. The ROM beeper will also allow it, but it's more for kind of Jet Set Willy uh, in-game tunes. So I'm going to use the Music Studio today and I'm going to use this music demo song. If you want to try and find some more tunes you can go here and choose the uh, Bipolar Showcase. You'll find lots of uh, really good tunes on there that you can try out. Um, in addition it does allow you to import tunes from um, from tracker programs and uh, of course you can also build your own using the using the tools here. So as I said, none of that. I'm not going to go into that, any of that today, but by all means have a play about and uh, make your own discoveries with regard to that. I'm just going to show you how we can output this data. Okay, so as you can see, that's very similar, more or less the same as the music that we had in the game, which you would expect since that's the file that I used. Uh, so let's take a look now at how we need to get that out into a format that we can use in um, AGD. So we're going to use, as I said, the Music Studio engine. 
and uh, we're just going to go to the option here music studio as you can see uh, you can play in other engines but um, this one is the most flexible really I think especially in terms of allowing it to be used with the control menu so yeah so all we need to do here is we just go to this compile option and as you can see here we've got a an option here at uh, 36950 and this is important because that's going to be where we put the uh, data and um, following this we need to select as you said as we said here music studio because it has the option here down the bottom to here allow you to uh, play the notes and then jump back to code so other ma other options on here for example don't give you that choice so you need to choose one that does and as I said I think the music studio is the most kind of flexible of those so you can use the other ones if you want to and uh, yeah so we need to make sure we select that um, that option at the bottom we need to make sure that we select the correct uh, address here and then we just need to save the data off here and uh, I've already done it once as a demo but I think just for uh, argument's sake just for ease of use I think I'm gonna write the address in here so that it's easier to uh, remember okay and that's done and as you can see that's about 732 bytes exactly 732 and that's manageable we don't really want anything much more than about 1k for this because obviously we want to prioritize game memory but that's the amount of memory that you're going to need to have free in your game in order to put this in so let's go back to AGD and see how we do that okay so here we are back in AGDX and we are now going to use the pointer adjustment method to uh, create some space to reserve the code as you can see here I'm just using an empty version of AGD you can have your game in here of course if you want to just check how much memory you've got left the total memory you'll need to have free is the number that was reported by the bipolar plus another six bytes in this case uh, that's going to be our diversion code for the uh, control menu so we're going to need to add that as well so what we're going to do we we'll go into the menu this is how we reserve code space we turn pointers on and we then drop down to sprites here and we know we're going to have to reserve 738 bytes and 732 plus another six so I'm going to press control 4 here seven times and because I know I don't need those two bytes I'm actually just going to reserve 740 I'm not going to worry about those two bytes so I'm going to press control 3 to reserve that additional 40 bytes there so now I know that I have reserved a total of 740 go back to the menu here and switch the pointers off that's important because it just lets uh, AGD reinitialize and we've now reserved the code space that we need in order to uh, get the music going so there are two two pieces of code that we're going to run here to load in one of them of course is the music itself and the other is the small diversion code which is approximately well it is six bytes and uh, I'm gonna look at that now so I've created a poke for you and this will be included in the download and uh, all you have to do here is just highlight this poke and it will automatically install the uh, diversion code and uh, it'll be ready to run uh, for those who are more technically minded I'm gonna shift over and I will explain to you now just how this poke file actually works so if you're interested in that you don't need to know this but here you can see the uh, code and um, what we're doing here is we've got two sections the first one here there are two pokes here 27853 and, and 854 that is the part of the control menu code which runs to the vsync which is normally uh, at this address here and we are changing it to 8144 which means it's redirecting itself to our address at 36944 which is where the code is that we just reserved and as you can see here there is the code itself at 36944 so that's what we're pointing at and as you can see there are only six bytes here and if you know a little bit about assembly you'll know that this first one is a call and this is calling the music code that um, we are going to be running and that is the address for that and then the second part 1953127 that is a jump 
and that is jumping from the code that we are running here and then eventually it's jumping back to the code here which is what the control menu originally was going to so it's a little diversion it's running our code and then it's going back to what it's normally doing so therefore AGD is none the wiser to the fact that the music's playing and will behave normally and that's the basic principle of that so coming back into AGD here and uh, we've now installed that poke so all that remains is for us to now load the music binary so let's uh, let's load that up now and uh, we've uh, conveniently stored the address so that we can remember it and here it is 36950 so we load that in here and as you can see 732 and we'll load that in at the address 36950 okay and we'll press okay now to basically load that in okay so now because the poke has already been applied that means that we can now if we want go into the um, control panel control menu call and uh, run it and it will run the music so let's take a look at that now then we'll go into the events and we'll uh, go to the option down here for the intro and as per usual we'll just put in here control menu let's run it and see what happens now can you see what we actually haven't done yet the music is starting in the middle let's have a look yeah so basically the way that the code runs it resumes the music as you'll see here and then we're going into the game so what we have to do then basically is uh, when we actually start the game we've got to initialize the music so that it will um, start from the beginning and that only needs to happen once so we'll do an assembly call here to uh, 86144 and as you can see we are now resetting the code, the game, so that the music will start from the beginning and then it will uh, resume. Okay. The other thing you can do, of course, is you can add your menus, you can do everything else that you want to do to make your intro look nice before you run the control menu code, just as with uh, regular AGD or AGDX. So, for example, here we can just put this in here. <laughs> And uh, there you go, the game is running, the music is running, and that's basically how you do it. So, yeah, the code that's in the control menu is, of course, on a loop. And so it will resume the music, and then it, because it's going on a loop every time, it's waiting to go back to the music. So that's why we need the initialize at the beginning before we run the control menu. And that will make the game start with the music at the start. Okay, so that's enough for today. Hope you enjoyed it. As always, happy coding. Thanks a lot. Bye.